Hi, Sagittarius. This is your December 2018 reading. Uh, this is what you can expect for the month of December. Uh, I do have the Rider Waite Tarot deck that I'm working with, as well as my angel cards, which I am going to also give you advice from the oracle cards from your angels. Okay? So, I'm going to first start with the oracle cards. And I'm going to pull three cards. And the three oracle cards that you have from the angels is trust. So the first thing the angels are asking you is to trust in your decisions. Okay, trust in uh, your ability to be successful or to succeed in a certain situation. Okay, uh, again, your intuition is what is guiding you and leading you on the right path. Um, if you speak negative, you will manifest negative. So be careful what you put out into the universe. All right. The second card that you got is unlikely. So something is unlikely. So if you're hoping for something to work or resonate with you as far as a love relationship goes, if you're expecting someone to leave a partner who they're already with or in a union with or married to, Please know that it is unlikely that they are going to walk away from that situation. Okay, so somebody may be trying to pull the rug out from under you, trying to fool you or manipulate you into believing that they're going to leave their spouse or partner to come towards you. Okay, somebody's trying to have their cake and eat it too. The last card you got is there's something better. Okay, there's definitely something better that the universe uh, the divine has for you, but they cannot give it to you until you have released the negativity um, from this current relationship or situation. You have put enough time and, and stress and tears and um, you've tried patience, you've tried understanding, um, you've tried creating a balance that they did not appreciate, okay? They definitely did not appreciate. So... What we're going to see is what's coming now for Sagittarius for the month of December, okay? And the first card I got is the Five of Cups, okay? So you have the Five of Cups, and we're all very much aware of what the Five of Cups means. Um, it is definitely about loss. It is about grief, okay? It's about loss. It's about grief, Um painful challenges which stem from a particular loss um, it's also a card that depicts a figure that is wearing a black cloak as you can see the person hides his face in what seems to be despair he doesn't want to show how he's really feeling okay um, there are five cups on the ground three of which have fallen right you see three of the cups are totally emptied they're emptied out um, however notice that there's still two standing cups as to, you know, busy mourning over the, uh, over those cups that fell, you're so busy worried about what fell. Um, you're not looking at what you still have left. Okay, there's a powerful river. Okay, you can see the powerful river, um, which flows between him and a house or a castle in the distance, indicating that a torrent of emotions have separated him from his home. So somehow, either you or your partner have had feelings that were separated or pulled apart okay f from a happy home meaning that there's somebody that came in between you just like the river uh, setting an example that there's someone that is between you and your partner that is creating distance okay it's indicating that there's a torrent of emotions okay that have been you know separated f from you and your home or him and his home Okay, or there is another party that he's involved with and you being in their life has created some type of separation between him and someone else. However, I don't feel that they are leaving their partner. Um, the Five of Cups symbolizes to disappointment. Okay, it's about disappointment and feelings, you know, that come when things go differently than you expected. All right. It feels like right now you are feeling a, a definitely uncertainty. You're feeling unhappy in a situation, something that hasn't really turned out the way that you would hope that it would. 
You were led to believe or manipulated to believe that this person was trying to do the best for you, trying to come towards you, uh, trying to put things together to create a union with you. But now the truth is starting to surface. You're starting to see, you know, what's really here. Um, it's definitely inducing feelings of self-pity and regret right now. So some of you or your partners may be regretting a decision that's been made. Somebody may be regretting that they ever got involved with this particular person. All right. Um, the water that's actually spilled from the cup shows that you might have missed an opportunity with someone. It also shows that the problem is most, mostly emotional and not a material or financial. So your material and your financial seems okay at this time, better than it was previously. But I also get this is more of an emotional situation, okay? So, so be aware of that. The next card that I got for you guys um, has to do is, is the Ace of Swords, okay? I mean, I'm lying, I'm lying. It's the Ace of Wands, all right? So let me just get that straight for you guys. It's the Ace of Wands. So when we're dealing with the Ace of Wands, okay, there can be a, a lot of positivity with this creation. Um, this could be you as far as work goes or whatever. Um, it, it's associated with a fire energy as well. And the Ace of Wands is the core representation of fire within this deck. The card shows a hand that is sticking out of a cloud while holding the wand. Okay? Um, when you look at this card, you can see that the hand is reaching out to offer the wand, which is still growing, okay? Some of the leaves from the wand have, have sprouted out, which is meant to represent a spiritual and material balance and progress. All right, so you are going through, you know, a particular balance in a situation. Uh, at the same time, the distance is, a ca is the castle that symbolizes opportunities available in the near future. The wand symbolizes creativity. The ace of wands is the boldest among the cards in the suit. It is not the kind of creativity that you learn from school or a hobby. It is bravely finding your own voice, okay? It creates a place where you can develop your own vision. In other words, with willpower and creativity in the cosmic sense, okay? So, your willpower, your creativity, it's saying that you can expand. You know, when, you, when, when anybody draws the uh, Ace of Wands, it's an indicator that you should just go for it. So, you, in other words, you have nothing to lose at this point. You, you need to take a chance. You need to pursue an idea that you have in mind. Um, it's definitely taking the first step to a creative project. The Ace of Wands calls out to you to follow your instincts. That's exactly what the Ace of Wands here is. Okay? The Ace of Wands is about following your instincts. All right, and then, I mean, you guys have a lot of Cups cards, which is telling me that there is love here. Um, you know, there's definitely love in the situation, or there was, at one point in time, there was love going on here. But, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get to number seven. When I get to number seven, seven of Cups, okay, that's exactly what shows up here is the seven of Cups. And... As a Seven of Cups card, it symbolizes your imagination, a choice, wishful thinking, illusion, fantasy. So have you allowed yourself to continue to live in the fantasy that this situation is going to work out for all good? Is this situation going to work out and benefit you? I mean, the card does show a person with their back turned, right? It's turned toward us. Their back is toward us. Contemplating seven images that are creeping out of all the cups which are floating in the clouds. Clouds are representation of dreams and illusions, thoughts and imagination. There are numerous fantasies that are appearing from these cups, which are representative of the many visions that one sees while dreaming. So you have imagined and pictured so many different scenarios with your partner. You have visioned yourself married. You have visioned yourself with a home. You visioned yourself uh, being happy, being very intimate, very sexual with this person. 
But at the same time, is it an illusion? Is it a fantasy? Which is it? The Seven of Cups may also imply that you or your partner has many options to choose from. Only you know what's going on with this particular situation. You need to clearly see the shadows and visions in your imagination. Not only in your dreams, but also in the real world. You should be careful of wishful thinking and be alert of the choices that you make. Because in one sense, the Seven of Cups indi indicates that you're a dreamer who is both excited and afraid at the same time. You're afraid to see in your unconscious state. In another, the Seven of Cups is a reminder that although it is good to have dreams and wishes, it is even better to take action attaining those dreams. At one point in your life, you'll need to stop fantasizing and face the reality. So that's pretty much what this card is telling you. It is time to face the reality, all right, which is a very difficult decision to get to. It's a very hard thing to deal with, uh, but at the same time, you know, a lot of you have already made that decision, or maybe your partner has. Um, when, I, when I'm looking at the next card, which is a swords card, okay, um, which is a six of swords, okay, and the six of swords in, in tarot, as you know, oh, I thought something was, okay, the, the six of swords in tarot, as you know, shows a woman and a child in a boat being rowed in the water to a land that is on the other side, okay? You can gather from this image that the women and child are leaving something behind. They're moving away from something as their backs are faced toward us, okay? So they're turned and they're focused on a new direction, okay? So maybe you're focused and turned on something else or maybe this is your partner with their back toward you. You know, if you look at this woman, her head is covered with a cloak. Perhaps she, somebody's feeling feeling something and they must go without others knowing her true identity. We can assume that because of this, she's undergoing great loss of sadness. The Six of Swords is that of loss or change. Okay? Somebody has suffered a loss or suffered a dramatic change here. Okay? As well as moving toward the future, the future that looks more promising than that one that we left behind. So this is telling you that there is something better coming for you. You know, when you look at the six swords along the side of the boat, that symbolizes the strength power, the strong power of the rational mind compared to the intuition and the heart. So your mind is very strong. You know where you need to be. You know which way you need to go. Don't be afraid to get to the other side. Don't be afraid to cross over. Don't be afraid to let go of something that's no longer serving you. Because you know wherever you're going to, that destination is going to make you much happier. The, the Six of Swords in this case is to plan using your logic, your clarity, objectivity. Where you are now and where you have been and where you want to go, intuition can help you. But you need to think logically to ensure your success. You have to get out of that dream mode. You have to get out of that fantasy mode. You need to see things for what they truly are. And that shit's going to hurt. That shit's going to hurt. You may keep returning to the past. You just may. They may try to come back to you. And I do feel like somebody is going to return towards you. But when they do, and you keep taking them back, returning to the past, whether it's because there are issues that are not resolved or because you are questioning your direction, it just means that you're resisting transition right now that life is giving you. And you know what happens when you do that, you feel that you're being forced into making moves before you wanted to. Or you don't want to move at all. You're good where you are. You don't want to have a change. You don't want to be forced to transform. You think about the benefits of the moves instead of the drawbacks. But, like Orpheus, 
in the underwood, you must only look ahead and not backwards. For if you do look backwards, you risk falling apart, which then gives us our next card. This is what's to come if you continue to look backwards. If you continue to take this person and deal with them, this is exactly what you're going to have. You're going to have to deal with a tower moment because the universe is trying to tell you that this is no good for you. The universe is trying to say this isn't working out. You know, when you get this um, major arcana card, you know, the major arcanas, the tower, it, it, you, you see the tower is up on the top of a mountain. A lightning bolt strikes the tower, which sets it ablaze. It creates the fire. Flames are bursting in the windows, and people are jumping out of the windows as an act of desperation. So what is going to happen to you with your act of desperation? You're going to lose control. You're going to react to something instead of respond to something. Somebody's trying to jump out of the windows to escape the turmoil and destruction within the tower. It can be a symbol for ambition that's constructed on faulty premises. Something was built on faulty ground. Something was built on lies and deceptiveness. In order to clear out the old ways and welcome something new, its revelations can become or can come in a flash in truth or inspiration. The tower always represents change, the most radical and momentous sense. It is for this reason that the card itself visually looks so unnerving. But it doesn't necessarily have to be truly frightening or ominous. Okay? So please, be careful what you're doing. Be careful the choices that you're making. Sagittarius, somebody's coming back, but you may not want them. 